Hi everyone, Rich Crescenta here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today we start a new mini series, which is all about editing guitar. Now I know people, when they normally think of Melodyne, they think of vocals, but they often forget that Melodyne can be fantastic for editing polyphonic instruments like guitar as well. So I'm doing something unique in this video, and I'm gonna start off with clean, totally raw, DI tracks. And there's a reason that I want to do this. And on this particular record that I'm working on, I'm going to be reamping these tracks. But I think there's a lot of people that watch these videos and a lot of people out there that are making music nowadays that are either A, reamping like me, or B, using amp sims, sometimes like me as well. And I feel like when you take the audio, the clean, raw DI track, and optimize it as best as you can in Melodyne before it goes through that amp or through that amp simulation, you're gonna get a much better performance and a much better and more consistent sound. You're almost optimizing the, the tone and the performance of the guitar before it goes through the amp and that will react and respond better, I feel like. So let's dive in and take a look. Today what we're gonna be focusing on in this one is getting the notes themselves right. So what we've got right here is a polyphonic part, which is just a big, huge, uh, ringing opening guitar. Let's hear this. Okay, and if we hear it uh, soloed, we get. Okay, nice. Now, if I just wanted to go in and nudge some things around, or copy and paste some notes or replace some notes. I wouldn't do this next step, but I wanna show this to you because I think this is important. And this is going into note assignment mode and cleaning up a little bit, making sure that Melodyne is interpreting the data correctly. If you end up going through and changing chords or changing notes, making sure that your note assignment mode is, is really uh, tight and taken care of ahead of time will help a lot. It'll make the whole rest of the work that you do faster and sound better. So spend five minutes with that, right? Let's take a look right here. I'm gonna go into note assignment mode. And if you'll remember, note assignment mode is, is really effectively, it is just how Melodyne is interpreting the data, right? So what we see right here, we get this slider up at the top, we see the actual notes, and then we see these hollow notes, which are potential notes. Notes that Melodyne thinks might be in these chords, but it thinks that it also might not be. So there's a whole, there's a little empty note right there saying, maybe this should be part of this chord. And if you want to see more of those potential notes, you can just take this potential note slider and move it to the right. All right, so take a look at this. Now, I've got some chords that are played right here. We see a couple of things, right? Like this tells me this potential note was missed, right? It's in this chord, it's in this chord, but it was missed here. So if you wanna activate that potential note, it's very easy, you can just double click on it. But I wanna point out something really interesting right here. This empty active note, right, is an A flat. And if you look, we've got another A flat down here. Look at this A flat and this A flat compared to this one. This one in the middle is much larger. And I want you to notice when I double click on this note right here, look at this blob and see what happens to it. Watch this. You'll notice this got smaller, right? Melody was interpreting that all of the information in that A flat should have been in this chord. And by adding some of it to here, it took away some of that energy from this and put it into this note right here. Now, here's the reason I wanted to show you this, right? Is because if we listen to some of these notes, for example, if we listen to this note right here and you can go up to your options and make sure that monitor when editing blobs is turned on. Now, whenever you just edit a blob in any way, you'll hear the note. So listen to this note. That's A flat, F, A flat, and D flat. Now listen to that again. Listen to this D flat, and listen to this A flat, and then listen to what's different about this F. You're hearing two tones in there, aren't you, right? And this is again because there should be another F above that in this chord right here. So I can very quickly and easily just add this in, and add this in, and add this in, and add this in. Now, 
we've got some other stuff in here that is not necessarily useful. This little guy right here is not necessarily useful. We see there's a few other things. So if there are notes, this guy right here is not useful. You could go through and deactivate those. But an easier thing to do would just be to come up to this area right here, only available in polyphonic, which is called the Venetian blinds. And you can just pull these down to hide the notes that are not actually part of the chord. And what I'm also gonna do is just pull it up to get rid of any notes that it thinks might be below there as well. So now when we go back to our edit mode, we get some really nice, clean sounding chords like so. Nice. Okay, great. Now we can do a little bit of copying and pasting, right? Let's take a look at some of these. Some of these notes, like this note was shorter than it should be. And so was this note right here. Those notes probably were not held like they should have been. So I could use my timing tool and stretch those out. But sometimes I feel like when notes are stretched too far, they can get, they can get some artifacts. So instead, what I would like to do is copy and paste. And it's Melodyne makes that very, very easy, right? If I got these two notes right here, I'm just going to take this one and hit Command C to copy, and then select the note I want to replace and hit Command V. And it will put that exact note in place. Same thing I can do up here, right? I can get this first note right here and hit Command C, and then go to this note right here, and hit Command V, and it puts it right in their place. And now we just get the exact same thing. Nice, open, ringing chords. Now, let's move on to another track that I wanna show you, right? Now this one is a little different because this one is a, this one is a monophonic track, right? Now this is a polyphonic instrument, but because of the way this was played, what I wanna do is put this into monophonic, right? If we listen to this riff right here, Okay, the way that riff was played, I don't want it to be polyphonic. I want this to be a single note, a single string pattern. So I want to make this monophonic. So I went back in and changed the algorithm to melodic, like so. Now, in this particular case, now I think this is, makes this easier for editing. This kind of single string guitar line works better, in my opinion, to edit in melodic. Now, we can do the exact same thing with copying and pasting right here. First thing, you know, I'll see there's one note. This note should have been here instead. But now if we look at this note, here's another area where we have to go into note assignment mode. This should clearly be two notes right there. And that note comes up and Melodyne just missed it. This is easy to fix. We can just go into note assignment mode and come to our note sliders, right? Let's move our potential note sliders out. And we see another one popped up right here. That's the one I want. I'll drop that in, it selects the note, or cuts the note, excuse me, and now we come back out and we see that this is two notes, just like it should be. So let's give this a listen. Okay, great. Now, this one has some pitchy wonkiness to it, and I wanna replace it with a different set of notes. So Melodyne does a very cool thing when you are copying and pasting, which is it will take copied notes and shrink or stretch them to the selected note. So it'll fill any time that you tell it to fill. All right, let me show you an example right here. If I take these two notes and highlight them, right, or copy them just by hitting Command C. Hit, hit, hold down Shift to select both of those, hit Command C. If I select this note and then hit Paste, it will shrink those two notes in to fit right in that area right there. That's not what I want. I really want to replace both of these. So instead, I'll highlight both and then hit Command V. And now I've got a cleaner note performance, right? Now we get... Great, okay. Now, another thing that I wanna show you that I'm always gonna do on guitar stuff like this is we are going to see a lot of these kind of notes right here, right? If you really zoom out, you'll see them. There's nothing going on here. There's just silence kind of at the beginning. And there's a lot of... Uh, sometimes that's like a little bit of line noise, or it'll be a little bit at an end of a note where we see this little holdover right there. If we listen to this one, yeah, you can hear it kind of tail off right there. 
that's useless. And I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to highlight this stuff at the beginning and delete it. And I'm going to highlight this stuff right here and I can delete it. Now you can also, instead of deleting it, if you want to keep it where it is, in case you're not sure, a smart thing to do is go to note off, which will mute all of it, but leave the blobs where they are in case you decide you want to go back later. But if you know it's something you absolutely don't want, you can always just highlight it and delete it. And so I'm going to go through and clean up all of this, get rid of all of these unnecessary lines right here. Let's hear this little, this little trill at the end. That's just some resonance that I don't really need at the end right there. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. And I'm going to get rid of this and all of this at the end here as well. So now what we've got is clean performances, right? Great. Okay. Now I want to show you something else that's really cool about the way that, that Melodyne works, right? The same thing happens with multiple passages. If I select all of these and hit command C and then select all of these at the end and hit command V, it'll just place that over and it will stretch. And if you look, notice how this note is in regards to the quarter note, right? Notice how the beginning of this note is in regards to the quarter note. That spacing amongst the grid is identical to the way that it is right here. This is really, really great for getting repeating lines. And you'll notice at the end of the last paste that I did, it put the cursor right again at the end right there. So I can hit Command V again and paste another one right after it. Hit Command V again and paste another one right after it, which is really useful for just taking repeating lines and stacking them all in a row. Great for drum loops as well. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks.